Oh yeah. It's got species yet. It's a smallmouth bass. Big old smallmouth bass. My friend Scott Walsh and I are up in Lake County, Minnesota. Beautiful sunny morning, but as you can see, <laughs> we have an extra layer or two on. It is fun watching them swim around in that clear water. Yeah. And you said, let's uh, start out and get up on the shallows here where these fish are pushing up and throw some swim baits around. And I don't know, 15, 20 casts later, we got our first smallmouth. Yeah, nice that's a nice fish. You like him. Nothing wrong with that one at all. We'll take them all day long. There he is. A little four inch Mayer swim bait, Crush City. Beautiful in the morning sun. Have a fun day, even though it's a little chilly. Let that fish go. Might be a pike. Might be a walleye. Nice walleye. It is a nice walleye. Oh, okay. geez. Yeah, that's the thing about Lake County. All of Minnesota's game fish are represented here. So it doesn't matter whether you're chasing largemouth or smallmouth, walleyes, lake trout. There we go. Yeah, a beautiful walleye. He's, uh, if we were eating walleye, he'd be a little too big for the frying pan, but fun to catch nonetheless. Smallmouth bass on a blade. On a spinnerbait. Yeah, that's a nice one, too. I mean, a nice one. So really we, nice one. So at first spot, we had fish all over on Mega Live out in front of the boat in five, six feet of water, and we threw five or six different things at them, and they just didn't want to go yet. This big cold snap might have them a little fussy. Scott switched spots, brought us out here to a kind of a mid-lake flat rather than a shoreline area. And literally first cast with a Terminator spinnerbait and a little freeloader trailer on there. And that's a plump one there. That's more like what we're after, right, bud? Yeah, that's a nice fish. Big one. That one kind of kind of chewed on it for a second before he got on it. Well, that's a big one. Another, another nice one. Well, they're all quality. They kind of like I kicked a rock and he kind of knocked it once and then and then just kind of grabbed it and hung on. Nineteen. People think you got to fish walleyes deep in the fall and. Fishing with live bait and stuff. I mean, Scott and I are using exclusively artificial. This is a little swim bait here. Nice but fish. They eat kind of pretty much everything this time of year as they're fattening up for winter. So many lakes to choose from. You're so blessed up here with so many great fisheries, Scott. I mean, not only the 700 some lakes, but 175 rivers and streams if you like to do trout fishing dozen beautiful waterfalls and awesome fish too so i mean it's really a spectacular county and all four seasons too we were up here ice fishing last winter catching trophy bluegills and walleyes like this through the ice pretty fun in the fall though when they're on the feed bag yeah <laughs> absolutely super awesome. pretty fish not a mark on it yeah right no yeah. split fins Pr just pristine yeah, yeah beautiful You know, Scott, why don't we take a minute here and why don't you tell folks some of the tackle they should bring for these fall smallmouth and walleyes in Lake County. Sure, Roger. You don't need to get too fancy with these fish for the late season fishing. I like to have a couple soft baits on the deck, like maybe a paddle tail swim bait, which will cover you for smallmouth and walleyes. Ned rig will cover you for smallmouth and walleyes. And then a couple hard baits, ideally like a shallow crankbait or a jerk bait if the fish are a little bit more on the edge. As you can see today, we had a lot of wind today and Roger caught some real nice fish on a spinnerbait. So you don't need to get too cute with the fish. You can pretty much catch them on whatever you enjoy throwing. Decent one. I just had a monster on. Lost it right at the boat. It's a solid one though too. They're liking that spinnerbait. Yeah. I mean, you've got the, the swim bait going on them. And... Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Nothing. Nothing wrong with that one at all. Chunky one. He gobbled it too. Choked it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Very nice. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one yet. Yeah, that flume made it gone. She, she was definitely not messing around. What a fun day catching fish. Are. Really fun day. A little <laughs> chilly, but worth it, right? Absolutely awesome up here in Lake County. Hundreds of lakes to explore. A lot of them are remote, so you don't really see anybody else and fish populations that aren't pressured. So if you would like to explore a really cool part of Minnesota, it's Lake County. You can learn more about how to plan your trip up here by going to loveinlakecounty.com. With my good friend Scott Walsh, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.